Letting agents and right move, the two biggest banes of my life, adding as little value as possible for the maximum price. And in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down how you can get rid of them both. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. And uh, as I said, I'm gonna be breaking down how you can actually let out your property for as close to free, I'm gonna say that again, free as possible. Now, all right, I was hating on letting agents and Rightmove a little bit too much, but I've, I've actually got Rightmove because of my businesses and it cost me 2,000 pounds a month. And letting agents, on the whole, they seem to do a good job when actually getting the tenant, but then you either don't hear from them for ages because I, the tenant's just paying, or when something does go wrong, Wrong, they're useless at chasing the money or when something needs working on the tenant tells the letting agent the letting agent tells you you say yes to it it gets done and you have to pay for it and they charge you 30 percent on top all for the privilege of 10 percent plus vat which let's face it means you're paying the vat every single month now caveat to that there are some genuinely great letting agents out there but what i'm saying is is it truly worth the 12 percent well unless you've got a great one I'm not so sure. And what I want to show you are the three ways you can actually get tenants in without needing to rely on either. So let's jump in to number one. Okay, so the first one's a little bit of a cheat, if you like, and that is open rent. Now, if you don't know what open rent is, think of it as an online letting agent without actually doing the bits for you. It's more the advertising side of things. So if you go to open rent, there's a five day free trial on this and you can actually list your property anywhere. So it will put it on prime location, Zoopla, Rightmove. So technically it is still utilizing them, but it's completely free. And the great thing thing is, whilst Rightmove and Zoopla will only work with lettings and estate agents, which by the way is why you're kind of forced to use them because Rightmove is so bloody expensive and you can't get on there as a private landlord, Open Rent kind of opens that up to everyone. So they'll be paying a massive premium on all of those sites to get it tens of thousands, I imagine, on a monthly basis, but allows you to get in for free. Well, you might say, well, Jamie, is five days actually enough time to find a tenant that's great? Well, the answer is yes. Actually, most of my properties, once I've got them ready to let and I put them on, we're getting viewings booked in within the first 48 hours. And that's when a majority of them happen. So as long as you've got great photos and which you'll need to pay for professional photos, say 100, 150 quid, and you get it listed, at the right price. I'd say within 48 hours, you're gonna have great bookings. But even if you go past that free five day trial, the great thing is even staying on there for like three months, it's like 30 quid. So it's next to nothing in the grand scheme of things. And you are having the access to the market that you're paying those letting agents for. Bear in mind, most letting agents are charging you four or 500 pounds up front now because they can't charge tenants. You're paying next to nothing for the exact same service apart from the viewings that you're doing. Well, hey, how about doing the viewings yourself? Or you can use a company called Viewber, I know, a play on Uber, right? Where they will do viewings and open house viewings on your behalf with as little as 10 pound per viewing. So it's a massive opportunity to save dramatic amounts of cost, which means maximizing the profit and therefore the cash in your pocket on a monthly basis. Number two is good old Gumtree. Now Gumtree used to be, you know, where maybe people would buy beds and fridges and stuff like that, but it's actually developed into a more professional outlet right now, so much so that you can buy properties on Gumtree, let alone rent them out. And actually there's a lot of people that use Gumtree for pretty much everyday purposes and people know people. So you can go on there and advertise your property to let for free. Now, obviously you wanna make sure you're doing the right vetting, but I think it's a really good portal considering how many thousands of people are on there looking every day for opportunities and they can search for properties to let. It's a really great example. And I'm not saying you should never use a letting agent, by the way, but what I'm saying is if you've got a property ready to go, why not give it a go in the first couple of weeks at least to actually get that great service there and get it all sorted for free? What you can also do is pay a little bit of advertising. I think it costs like 20 quid for five days to push it out so that it's the only property or the first property that they're seeing to get it in front of the right people. But again, it's a brilliant advertising platform that you can get it out in front of the right people that the letting agents will be doing anyway on your behalf. 
Let's move on to number three. So number three you've all heard of before is Facebook, but specifically Facebook Marketplace. Now, Facebook Marketplace is very similar to Gumtree, but the great thing about Facebook is pretty much every human that has an internet connection is on Facebook. I think it's close to bloody three billion people on Facebook. Don't quote me on that. Um, three billion people on Facebook, but pretty much everyone in the UK is using it. And again, Facebook Marketplace used to be like the secondhand stuff, but actually, Actually, loads of people are going on uh, referring people and if you posted great photos say hey I've got a property to let out here's my price I can near guarantee that you're gonna get the right people in front of you that you can vet now the whole point of this as well is when you're doing these sort of things you're able to be really proactive because not only are you doing the advertising through open rent that letting agents are doing on Facebook marketplace and Gumtree and uh, there are others another one is called mushroom for example where you can do the same things and get it out there you're also able to be really proactive because people are doing the same on the other side i.e on Gumtree and Facebook marketplace there's also people saying hey I'm looking for a property to rent in this area right now. Does anyone know anyone? And you can proactively reach out. And I actually think that's better than most letting agents because I don't know pretty much any letting agent that proactively goes out there to find people. I, most agents that I know, they are very reactive in that they get stuff online and then they wait for the leads to come in. And the fact that it's your property, because they've got, say, 100 properties that they're looking to let, they don't really care if your one lets out over another person's, right? So they've got no vested interest in selling yours over somebody else's. But with you, you care about it because it's your money, your loss. So you can have a more proactive attitude in actually getting this in. Now, with all of this, there's something key to remember. That is number one, remembering the government guidelines, the right to let check. So you need a valid EPC and energy performance certificate. You need to know that they've got a right to let in the UK and you need to give them the guide to letting. And as of now, you need an EICR certificate, which is a certificate from an electrician to sign off on the electrics and say they are safe, which by the way, they should have done decades ago because imagine if they weren't and something terrible happened. But the point is, make sure you're doing your checks. You can go on the government website. In fact, let's put a link below that you can see on that so you can make sure you're getting it right. The reason this is important, by the way, don't just gloss over it and go, ah, I don't really care, is if you're, your tenant ever, you want to get them out on a section 21 or they're not paying and you want to evict them, if you've not done the stuff right at the beginning, you can, it's near impossible to get somebody out of your house legally. So make sure you're doing this stuff up front. Number two is do proper referencing checks, okay? So I do credit checks on the tenant, make sure that they've not got any outstanding payments. Obviously you can take a view on this. If they've defaulted five years ago on a phone bill, they probably won't pass referencing, but you can have a human input. Do they have a deposit? Do they have a couple of months worth of rent? There's a big difference between somebody that's got 10 grand in their account and somebody that's scrambling to get the first months together. Do proper referencing because you don't want to rush getting a tenant in to think about the money. You want to get the right tenant in. The final tip that I'd want to give is make sure you've got the property listed until you've actually got the tenant in reference, you've done all of the checks and they are in with the first month paid. So many people I've seen listing the property, start booking in appointments and then take the listing down because they've got too many appointments coming in. You haven't secured a tenant until you've secured a tenant. So do you need a letting agent? Do you need right move? Absolutely not. And with the market the way it is right now, where there is a massive undersupply of high quality housing, if you tick the boxes and you're in a high demand area, why not give it a go? I'm not saying letting agents don't earn their money. What I'm saying is you'd save a lot by giving this a go yourself. So if you've got the time, experience and inclination, give it a go and let me know what you get out of it in the comments of this video. Whilst you're at it, by the way, hopefully this has added a load of value. Make sure to smash the like button. It really does help engage with the YouTube algorithm. Let me know what you thought of in the comments and let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to get making. And of course, it would help tremendously if you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified about the next video around property investment, scaling tips and tricks that you can implement in your property investment journey. I'll see you in the next video.